Singapore, I have Barcelona, I have Thailand, I have Copenhagen, and I have um, Costa Rica. These are in my top four, definitely. Can you quickly share a quick memory of like, what well, the best memory of the place you've been to? That's a hard question because each place is so different. But I think that um, Thailand was one of my favorites because um, well, Barcelona was special because it was the first time that I traveled alone. So it was like a leap of faith. I wanted to discover more about myself. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was only 19 years old and I just went by myself. And Thailand was very special because it was a phase in my life where I was reflecting a lot about the spiritual side of myself. And I was alone again, but the people were so genuine, the food is so good, and I really felt as if just walking in the streets of Thailand was like a breath of fresh air. I've seen pictures of it and it just looks so beautiful. What was the inspiration behind studying to be there? Back in 2013 and I was in Finland, so I traveled across Europe and then I just wanted a way to show all of my travel pictures without like flooding my personal Instagram page. So I was like, okay, let me just start a page where I can just talk about traveling because I started getting so passionate about it that I wanted to share it. And so I started Take Me There and then I started the blog a few months after and it became what it is now. If you guys haven't yet, you should totally check out her blog. She has amazing pictures, guys. Everything from food. I think food is probably like the biggest part of it for me <laughs> because I'm such a foodie and the sceneries. It's it's amazing. Um, if you guys didn't know, actually, she also has a travel consulting business where basically she organizes tours in Haiti. Can you tell us a little about that? Yeah. So I I travel around the world, but I don't travel full time. I live in Haiti, and uh, since 2014, I moved back. And that's when I started to think about a business idea. This is how I started Menemla, which means take me there in Creole. And what I do is that um, we do sustainable tourism. Like we organize excursions all around Haiti, but we take people to like different communities where they can share meals with locals, have local um, art classes with locals, share a room like in their house, have a camping experience. So it's basically um, to create jobs in like the countryside where you know tourism is basically non-existent. So that's what globally that's what it is about. So if anyone is ever thinking about visiting Haiti, I think I would definitely do a tour with Take Me There with um, well, Take Me There, but really better. That's what we do with what class do we have for anyone who's looking to start something. Like it doesn't have to be a business. Anything from a blog to just any kind of creative Follow your passion because anything that you do with passion will unfold naturally. You know, don't do something just because your parents or your friends are influencing you to do it, but do what your you know what your heart pumps for. Because once you start doing something out of that, I mean money will follow and all of these other things that you need like will follow, you know. And the other thing is that be brave. Don't get discouraged because fear is a part of the journey, but you don't have to let fear dictate the direction that your life is going to take. Because, um, you know, you can do anything that your mind can conceive. And, I mean, just be bold about it. Just follow your dreams. Before we end this video, I just want to start a quick fun challenge. Um, why don't you tell me two truths and one lie, and I'll try to guess which one is a lie. Um, two truth and one lie. Yeah. Things that you sure I won't know about you. Okay. I talk, talk to myself, myself in the mirror. Um, I work out every morning. I, uh... So, um, she talks to herself in the mirror. She has an imaginary friend and she works out every morning. Working out every morning, I would kind of believe it, so I'll say that's going to be the truth. Um, I think the life will be that you have an imaginary friend. That's like one of my... Is that the lie? No. Well, that's one of the lies, but there are two lies. No, one <laughs> It's supposed to be two of my lies. So I guess, I guess 